Number seven from the 2017 National Five. Here we go. Calculate the area of a triangle. You're given a triangle. It gives you two lengths. They're already marked in. And it mentions the sign of an angle. Not the actual angle, but the sign of the angle. What's the area? Now, it's only two marks. Now, it's not a right angle triangle, so you're not just going to do a half of 12 times 8, for instance. You can't assume it's an isosceles triangle, unless it tells you. So I can't think, oh, I'll cut it down the middle and that side will be 6. And then you can work out this height. No, it's going to be one of those triangle formulae. So you look at the front. And when you look at the front, area of a triangle. See, so, right, that's me. I'll just write that down. Area of a triangle is a half A, B, sine C. Right, A's, B, no, there's no A, B's and C's. The small letter stood for sides, the capital letter stands for an angle. So sine C must correspond to sine E. So this is the angle they're talking about. And it doesn't matter what the angle is, it, you want the sine of it and you do know the sine of it. So translating that would be, it must be two sides times and sine of C must be this two thirds. So if that's side C, then remember, if it was named with a C here, that's the side that's named small c, so the other two sides must be the a and the b. So that would be the 8 and the 12, so it must be times 8, times 12, times that. Now it's just a case of lots of multiplying and dividing, but you could do some cancelling first, because the 3 goes into the 12 four times, and the 2 goes into whichever the 8 four times, so that's them going. The 2 into the 8 goes 4. The 3 into the 12 goes 4. So you're left, just left with 4 times 4 times 2, 16 times 2, which is 32 centimetres squared. And of course, if you didn't want to spoil your numbers with the scoring outs, you could always have worked it out at the side somewhere. There was an 8 times a 12 times a 2 on top and a 2 times a 3 underneath. And in your working, you could have obliterated these numbers. In this case, we have done it. I've got 8 times 4 again is 32. Number 8 from the National 5 in 2017, paper 1. Solve algebraically, so don't just try numbers to see which ones work. Solve algebraically this inequality. It's not an equation, it's an inequality for three marks. Well, you just set about it as if it were an equation. But remember to keep writing greater than in this case. Well, the first thing you have to do is multiply those brackets. Don't add the 15 and the 3, you multiply first. So 3 times the x is 3x. 3 times the 2 is 6, and that's a negative, so take away 6. Now you need to get the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. Now there are various things you could do. You could anticipate things going negative on you, but if you didn't, you probably would just have said, I'll keep my x's here. So that x stays, and this x will have to come over and join it as minus 3x. This is the side for the numbers. I'll keep the 15. This negative 6 was there already, and that 19 will have to come over as a minus 19. You see, and there's the problem now. Everything's gone negative on you. You've got one of them, and if you take away two of them, you've got negative two of them. And then you've got to work this out without a calculator. 15 take away 6 is 9. 9 take away 19. Well, that's the same as 19 take away 9, which is 10, but call it negative. So that's negative 10. Now, to get x on its own, you divide. But you're going to be dividing by a negative number. And that's where you have to make the change. So x is going to be less than negative 10 divided by negative 2. If you'd just been dividing by 2, that would have stayed greater than. But dividing by a negative number flips it around, so your final answer is x has to be less than 5. Number nine, here's the circle question, full of lines, full of triangles. 
Calculate the size of this shaded angle CAB for three marks. Best thing here is just to fill the information into the diagram. Now there are three triangles that include this angle. There's triangle ABC, you could work with that one. There's triangle ABO, you could work with that one. That's better because that's a right angle triangle. Or there's triangle ABD. The, the two things that you know are a tangent meets a radius at right angles. I'll just shade that in there. So straight away you can work out this one. So that'll be the first one I'll work out. What's 58 away from 90? That'll be 32. Now the quickest way to the answer, there are various ways, but just now just doing the first one. The quickest way to the answer would be, well, if that's 32, that's 32 because that must be an isosceles triangle. And you know, if that side's 90, that side is 90. So you could work out this angle here, which will of course just be 180 minus 58. So I'm just going to use this big triangle. So I took 58 away from 90 to get 32. This just gave me this angle up here. If you take 58 away from 180, it gives you angle in here. So there's only one left in the big triangle ABD. There's different routes. So I'll say this, the angle I want, the angle CAB will be 180 minus the 32 and minus the angle in here, which is either 180 minus 58 or 90 plus that. Now there are other ways. Or 90 plus that, which is 122. So you've got 180, and you're going to take out away altogether 154 degrees. And if you take away 154, that'll leave you 26. So there's quite a number of ways of doing this. There's quite a few routes to the answer. I've just had enough time to do it just now. There's another right angle triangle in there, for instance, the one sitting in the diameter. There's even the fact that the angle at the centre equals twice the angle of the circumference that you could use. Still, 